All right, fifth graders, we are going to start our pop art names project. So we're gonna do our names in the style of pop artists of the past. Um, things you will need is you will need a piece of paper. I don't really care what size of paper you work on for this. If you wanna do large or small is fine. You'll need a pencil, a ruler, and a black permanent marker. Um, when we get to the coloring stages, I will talk a lot more about color. Um, it's a possibility to use paint on this project. So if you want to be using paint, I do recommend that you use a thicker piece of paper, okay? Um, we could use paint, markers, oil pastels, watercolor paints, temper paints, anything you've got really. So again, if you if you are thinking about possibly using paint, go ahead and try to do a thicker piece of paper. Um, if you have like a thick piece of drawing paper or watercolor paper, or even a white piece of construction paper would still be good for this project, okay? All right, now hopefully you watched my video on how to create your name in block letters and how to appropriately do block letters, how to stagger, how to overlap. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and write my name on here, okay? Um, so when you're doing your spacing, it's really important that you write this out in your own handwriting, okay? So I'm just gonna write my first name, Candace. Um, I think I'm gonna do capital letters. I just feel like capital letters looks pretty pop artish. You guys don't have to do capital letters. You can feel free to do lowercase. Sorry, I was just checking on my iPad to make sure you guys could see these lines, and you can. Um, this part, when you're writing your name in your own handwriting, should definitely be very, very light because this part will be erased, okay? C-A-N. You know what, my D is a little low down to that, and I'm going to raise that up a little bit. D. A. B. E. Okay. Um, so I did quite a bit of overlap. My staggering is a little bit much at the end. And although I would say the spacing is kind of okay, the letters the letters get a little bit smaller towards the end, so I think I am gonna just redo it on the back. Feel free to erase and readjust. You wanna get these letters in, an, in, a, in a nice place where you want them. You don't wanna be like starting really huge with your C and then like running out of space at the end of your name. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do these over, okay? All right, so I'm gonna start again. Um, by the way, you want the name to be big on the page, but at the same time, you also don't want to be taking up the entire page with the name uh, because then pretty much what's going to happen is you won't have a lot of room uh, for your pretty background that we're going to add. And by pretty, I mean cool. Sorry. I guess I just shouldn't have dubbed that as just pretty. Okay, I like that a little bit better. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform these guys into block letters. Uh, remember when you're transforming into block letters, let me zoom in here a little bit. You're just basically like outlining the letter, okay? So I'm going to do... My lines on the tips of this C, I'm gonna pull this back a little bit. I don't like where that ended. Oh wait, now I'm gonna outline the C. Remember from the letter video, I like block letters big and chunky, okay? We like big chunky letters. You have lots of room to do things with color in there, okay? Um, if you wanna overlap letters, overlap is super cool. You can try overlap. Just draw right over that past letter, okay? So I'm drawing this A right over my other letters next to it because it's a really big, bold A, and I like that, okay? Now, what you're going to do next is you're going to erase where those letters overlap one another. Um, I want my C to go over the A, so basically I'm going to leave the outlines of the C and I'm going to erase the A where it goes inside the C like that, okay? You might need to kind of clean up edges when you do that. Then you would go inside your letters and you'd start erasing lines in here, okay? Um, obviously, you'd want to do that when you were done doing all your letters and block letters. Um, I'm actually going to stop the video here, and then I'm going to finish this, and I'll show you what it'll look like in a minute. Okay, so now I've drawn my name in block letters. I've erased my original writing from on the inside. Remember, the reason you want to start with writing the name out in your own handwriting is mainly just for spacing, okay? Uh, so now that I have it written in block letters, lines erased out of the inside, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and trace everything in Sharpie. Uh, you want a really nice, neat outline in Sharpie. Make sure that you've done all your erasing already because you don't want to accidentally trace something that should be erased. So make sure and do that first. You're going to go through and really neatly trace each and every letter. When you get done tracing each and every letter, you're going to go in and erase any pencil lines that might still be peeking out from the outside edges of these letters, okay? So if you have any lines poking out at all, I pretty much just go through and I erase over the entire name just to make sure there's no pencil lines. I'm gonna pause you guys for a sec while I get that done. 
Okay, um, so now I've uh, drawn my name in black letters, erased all the extra lines and traced it in Sharpie. And the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to draw what I like to call an explosion shape behind this. Explosion shapes are a very big signature of pop art. You'll see them a lot in like Marvel movies even. Um, and to draw an explosion shape, you're basically drawing triangle tops, the top of a triangle with no bottom. You can have triangles that are wide. You can have triangles that are long and skinny like that one. So just triangle tops all the way around your name, okay? I'm gonna make a really wide one here. And then I'm gonna stop it and then I'm gonna do a long skinny one. Um, by the way, these lines can overlap your name. Like right now I'm gonna work my way behind the C. Now if you wanna go behind something, you should still draw over that object. We're just gonna come back in later and erase it, if that makes any sense to you, okay? So I'm just drawing my triangle tops going all around this paper. I really like, in this part of the project, I like inconsistency. I like for the triangles to look different as we go around. For some to look big, some to look small, some to look long, some to look short, okay? Um, so kind of like opposites as you go, if you will. You could even have some of these that are so big they go off the edge of the paper if you like, okay? So I'm just continuing around doing triangle tops, not really thinking too much about what these look like. I'm just kind of going for it, okay? And that's what I would advise to you guys is just to jump in there, go crazy, draw some triangle tops. I'm gonna have one go off the edge over here, definitely, because it just seems like it would. Um, let's see, now I'm gonna change direction completely. I'm gonna come back in here. This one's gonna go behind the C. And I'm trying to think if I wanna do a really small one here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a little baby right in here, okay? All right, there we go. Now that didn't take very long. Wherever I've overlapped a letter, I'm just gonna erase if they overlap a letter because I want this shape to look like it's behind the letters, okay? So letters and name is gonna be in the foreground and then this explosion shape will be my middle ground. The next thing you guys are going to do is you're going to trace the explosion shape in Sharpie. Or I'm sorry, I always refer to them as Sharpies, but just really a black permanent marker. Uh, when you trace them, please be sure to use a ruler. If you don't have a ruler at home, feel free to use any straight edged thing, like a, the edge of a folder would even work, okay? Or if you have like an index card, anything really, okay? Go around. Let's trace that whole explosion shape except for where it went over the letter. So hopefully you've erased that and then just get that outlined, okay? I will come back when I'm all done with that. All right, guys, I'm back and I have the name done in block letters and then I have the explosion or pow shape in the background all traced in Sharpie. I'm now gonna show you guys the last stage of the project. So the last stage are the polka dots in the background. Sorry, if I sound like I'm getting more distance because I left you guys, I went to get something. Um, so what you're gonna do with the background is you're gonna draw polka dots. Um, if you have something small and circular, feel free to trace it, like the bottom of a glue stick would work, um, or if you even have like the bottom of like an expo marker might work, you could just trace that. Um, in fact, you know what? Sorry, give me just one more sec. I'm gonna grab an expo marker really quickly so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, um, so basically the background, we've done the foreground, which is the name, the middle ground, which is the explosion shape, and then now we're gonna do the circles in the background or polka dots, okay? Um, oh, by the way, when you use Sharpie, you should probably have a paper underneath you so it doesn't go through your paper. Hopefully you guys have already done that and we didn't ruin your parents' tables or something. Um, so now, I'm just gonna start doing circles in the background, polka dots, whatever you wanna call them. Okay, so there's one right there. I could have kept tracing the XO marker and drawn over this area, but then I would have just had to erase it, so I just kind of stopped it. Um, if you like the shape and the size of the circle you're tracing, I don't care if you use that same object and you just keep tracing the XO marker over and over and over again in the background as many times as you want. Or if you'd like to use um, another size circle, like trace the bottom of a cup, you could do big dots. Uh, I really don't. I really don't care what size dots you do. You can do all different dots. You can do them the same. Um, I think I'm going to do different, just because on the project I usually do the same. So I'm going to try and change it up and just do different polka dots, um, and put them wherever you want. By the way, you can have some of these dots. By the way, this thing I'm using is called a safety compass. If you don't have one, they're pretty cool. Uh, if you draw any dots like this one that go over 
the explosion shape or the um, the name or anything like that. Just erase it where they go inside because remember, we want these guys to look like they're in the background, okay? Now, by the way, with the polka dots, you guys can draw as many or as few as you want. I would like you to draw kind of a lot of them though, um, just because then it, it gives a lot more room to do more things with color. Um, it adds like a visually interesting background. Um, and again, it just looks very pop art-esque. It kind of gives you that feeling of pop art if there's a lot of them, okay? Um, let me find a shape on here that I like. This one's kind of like a medium size. There we go. I think I'm just going to do a bunch of those. Okay, um, after you get done drawing in all your dots, then what you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to trace them in Sharpie. Um, with the tracing in Sharpie, I don't know if I would recommend tracing around the Expo marker just because it might give you a really messy line. I think I would just draw the dot and then go back in and just trace them by hand, okay? Just trace them to the best of your abilities. They're not going to be like perfectly uniform like they were when we drew them, but as long as they started off as a semi-perfect circle, then I feel like when we trace them, it'll be okay. It'll look close enough, hopefully, okay? Or at least just don't be too hard on yourselves. Mine are not perfect, all right? I'll get back with you guys uh, when I'm done just to show you what it's gonna look like, the finished product, okay? All right, here is the complete product for stage one of the pop art names. So please make sure that every pencil line is covered in Sharpie and that no pencil lines are visible in them, meaning you've erased all pencil lines. It looks nice and neat. Um, and then after you're done with this stage of the project, please make sure and send me a picture so I can give you credit for it. And then hold on to this because we are going to be adding color to this at a later date, okay? All right, good luck, guys.